So after studying about the maturing of cotton, now we will meet move towards the fiber morphology. We will learn and know interesting facts about the cotton, its structure, its looks, everything about the cotton. So cotton is a staple cellulosic natural fiber which is monocellular and now we will study fiber morphology. The macro structure of the cotton is just like this. We can see here the macro structure of the cotton. Here, long strips moving, having small dots in between, moving somewhat from in between also. So, these are fine, irregular, somewhat regular, somewhat irregular structures. So, macro structure of the cotton, it's like a cotton fiber appear as a very fine regular fiber it ranges in length from half inch to two three fourth inch depending upon the quality of the fiber it is the finest in common use ranges 11 to 22 um the fiber length to breadth ratio of cotton ranges from about 6000 is to one for the longest and best types to about 350 is to 1 for the shortest coarsest cotton type. The greater the ratio the more readily can the cotton fibers be spun into yarns. The color of cotton fiber depends upon its type, environment, soil and climatic conditions under which it is grown. The microscopic appearance of the cotton it's just like the cotton fiber looks like twisted ribbon or a collapsed or twisted tube these twists or convoluted identify the cotton fiber under the microscope the seed end of the fiber is quite irregular having been torn during ginning from the epidermis or skin of the cotton seed the main part of the fiber is about three fourth five six of its length it's it's regular with a thick fiber wall a canal along the center of the fiber called the lumen and about with 16 convolutions fiber tip is less than one fourth of fiber length at this end the fiber tapers to a cylindrical pointed tip and has no convolutions the convolutions are formed after the cotton ball bursts open the limb sap filled cotton seed hairs begin to dry out their cells walls collapse inward decreasing the size of the lumen when the cotton seed hairs cease shrinking twisting and collapsing inward they become the valuable convoluted cotton fiber this is the microstructure of the cotton fiber when under the microscope it looks like like the macro structure but when we are studying the structure from inside it looks like the microstructure of the cotton fiber its cross section is oval compared with the normal hexagonal plant cell however like all plant cells cotton has a distinct cuticle well developed primary and secondary walls and a lumen macro structure of a cotton fiber length is 1 cm to 6.5 cm diameter convolution 60 per cm color is creamy to brown generally white but changes according to the environmental conditions length width ratio is 6000 is to 1 light reflection low luster dark you can see in the picture this main structure lumen secondary wall with several layers winding layer primary layer primary cuticle The cuticle is very outside skin of the cotton fiber. It is composed of a waxy layer packed in only a few molecules thick. The waxy nature of the cuticle enables it to, to adhere tenaciously to the primary wall of the. This is cuticle. We can see to it. Cuticle, last one, last part. Next, we will have the primary cell wall which is immediately underneath the cuticle it is about 200 nm thick nm is nanometers 
it is composed of very fine thread of cellulose called fibrils this is the primary walls these are the primary walls primary wall second layer and first layer we can see here next we have those fibrils are about 20 nanometer thick but length is not known the fibrils spiral at about 70 degree to the fiber axis the spiraling imparts strength to the primary cell wall and hence to the secondary cell walls which forms a bulk of the fiber concentrated layers of spiraling cellulosic fibrils not unlike the growth rings to trees make up the secondary wall the hollow canal running the length of the fiber is called lumen the lumen was once the central vacuole of the growing cotton fiber it was full of cell sap which was composed of a dilute aqueous solution of proteins, sugars, minerals and cell waste products. When the sap evaporated, it constituents remain behind to contribute the, to the color of cotton fiber. This caused the fiber to collapse inward resulting in the characteristic kidney shaped cross section of the cotton fiber. As we have seen the cross section here, the cross section view. This is a cross-sectional view, kidney shaped, we can see to it. Next we have the polymer system, the polymer, the polymerization of cotton. The cotton is a linear cellulose polymer. The repeating unit in the cotton polymer is cellobios, which consists of two glucose units. So. The cotton polymer consists of about 5000 cellulose units that is degree of polymerization. The most important chemical grouping on the cotton polymer are hydroxyl groups and met methylol groups. As we can see the structure here, the methylol group and the hydroxyl group. Hydroxyl group is with OH. The polymer system of cotton is a crystalline fiber. Its polymer system is about 65 to 70 percent crystalline and are correspondingly about 30 to 35 percent amorphous. Cotton polymers are in the main well oriented and probably no further apart than 0.5 nanometer in the crystalline region. This is maximum distance across which hydrogen bonds can form between the polymers. Hydrogen bonds are the most dominant and most important forces of attraction present in the polymer system of cotton. For this reason, Van der Waals forces which are also present have little relevance. The physical properties of cotton are, so the structure, the cotton fiber is short, half inch to two inches long and cylindrical or tubular as it grows. The cotton fiber is essentially cellulose consisting of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Bleached cotton is almost pure cellulose, raw cotton contains about 5% of impurities. Strength cotton fiber is relatively stronger is due to its intricate structure 70% of crystalline. Elasticity cotton is relatively inelastic because it's crystalline polymer system and for this reason cotton textiles wrinkles and crease readily. Hygroscopic moisture, cotton does not hold moisture so well as wool or silk but absorbs it and so feels damp much more quickly. It also rapidly spreads throughout the material because it has the wicking properties that's why. Electrical properties, the hygroscopic nature ordinarily prevents cotton textiles materials from developing static legs. Absorbency, as cotton has cellulose it is good absorbent of fiber. Thermal properties, cotton fiber have the ability to conduct heat energy, minimizing any destructive heat accumulation, thus they can withstand hot ironing temperatures. Drapeability, cotton does not have good drape. They, well, they drape well in shape, the type of construction of the fabric may improve their property. Resiliency, cotton wrinkles easily, some wrinkle resistant finishes may reduce the property. Cleanliness and washability. Through cotton absorbs dust due to its rough nature, it can be washed easily in the hot water and strong soaps without damaging the fiber luster. The natural cotton has no pronounced luster. This can be improved by the moisturization finish of the cotton that is the treatment with the sodium hydroxide. 
shrinkage the fiber itself doesn't shrinkage but cotton fiber which has been stretched in the finishing process tends to relax back to its normal shape in the shrinkage process heat conductivity cotton is the better conductor of heat than wool or silk but not as good as rayon next we have chemical properties chemical properties are the treatment with the chemicals like acids alkaline strong al- acids so actions of acids and alkalis strong acids will destroy the fiber immediately dilute inorganic acids will weaken the fiber and left dry will not rot it therefore after treatment with acidic solutions cotton articles should be thoroughly rinsed in water they are affected very little by organic acids they are all quite resistant to alkalis even to strong caustic alkalis at high temperature and pressure in 8% sodium hydroxide cotton fiber swells spiral twisted uncoil and shrinks and become thicker the resultant fiber is smoother lustrous and stronger and has increased water and dye absorption effect of bleaching these have no effect until used in uncontrolled condition and with heat effect of sunlight and weather ultraviolet rays of sunlight affect the strength of the fiber and change the color so yellow when exposed to prolonged heat period of time pollution also affects the fiber concentrated and dilute mineral acids like sulfuric acid will discolor fiber affinity to dyes cotton takes in dyes better than linen but not as readily as wool and silk if a mordant is used cotton is easy enough to dye mordant colors direct or substantive dyes should be applied to the cotton even direct dyes are best suitable for the cotton these are the basic properties of cotton fiber which you can take the screenshot for the learning purpose these are the properties of cotton fiber comfortable and soft feel highly absorbent color retention gets printed well washable can be dry cleaned have good strength poor drapeability easy to handle and sew very little natural elasticity low resilience wrinkles easily shape is fairly uniform and wet contains moisture content up to 8.5% dimensional stability is good acids damages weakens fiber resistance to alkali no harmful effects highly resistant to most organic solvents bacteria and soil can also degrade cotton long exposure to sunlight can causes the fiber to turn into yellow and loses its strength fungus can grow on cotton withstand modern moderate heat acid perspiration has a slightly deteriorating effect so that's it for today we have studied cotton in detail next topic we will see in the next video bye bye take care